So it's super cold out here this morning. They're working on fixing uh, the chainsaws that were here. So we bought these two chainsaws used from one of the neighbors. We got this one running, um, but the other one's giving us this use. We're just gonna cut down those trees for that one for now. All right, so I'm grabbing some oil here. We're gonna run, we gotta go. We gotta go cut down those trees. And I think we've got like five or six yards today. So it's pretty cold, it's like 40 degrees out. Fit stock the real quick. We gotta grab another chain uh, for the pole saw. So we just arrived at our first project. We're just cutting out these two trees. So we'll get them cleaned up and see how it goes. got the bottom half of the limbs cut off here and then we've got a pile that needs cleaned up there we've already taken out this tree uh, so we'll have to come through with the bow once we're all done with this but what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some wedges from Lowe's to wedge at the bottom of that so when you're cutting a tree you put a slit in the side that you want to wedge and you cut a notch and then hammer in your wedge and it'll uh, push the tree as you cut it that way so we're gonna grab the wedges we've got first trailer load load it up it's kind of hanging out a little bit but it's just because we had too much debris to be able to uh get really so we budgeted two to three loads it looks like we'll end up needing three this is our first one so we're gonna run there and then run to lunch real quick and then uh, we'll be right back <laughs> grabbed our, our uh, wedges from Lowe's so we're gonna go finish knocking out that tree and knock out our yards for the day. I think we've got five. tree cut down here we've got it kind of cut into sections and you can see that Joey's hauling the pieces down there so in a few minutes as we cut it down uh, but we've got all these sections that we can kind of throw in the dump trailer but we wait to put this in until we put in all the branches because then that kind of weights it down and holds it in there for us so we're almost through with this job I think we've got hour and a half clock here all right so we just finished up this project we got the last little load here so we cut down these stumps. Uh, so you see we cut down this one here. And they just wanted the stumps to be left. They just wanted the trees cut down. And then we cut down this one over here. So I think we ended up only charging like 360 for this one, um, just to kind of help them out. So our total time on the job was like two hours and 16 minutes. So we knocked out a quote to install a rock walkway so we're looking for an affordable walkway for an airbnb that, that they just purchased so then we knocked out our next property this is our third uh fourth job for the day so we so trim the shrubs here you can see put the shrubs out front i just finished trimming those and edging uh joey's back there weeding rick's over there mowing this property actually belongs to them as well and so uh, we're gonna finish up this property. We have one more. I don't know if we're gonna get to it today or not though because it's like 4 415 and our next property is like an acre and a half maybe so It's been a good month since it's been mowed So I don't know if we'll be able to knock it out today or not, but we'll just do our best see what we can get done 
We'll probably have to cut it off here though just because I don't think we can get any more uh, done past this and still get off close to on time. So on our regular mowing setups, we keep these 30 inch uh, push mowers. They have a 30 inch deck on them. So they're about half as big as the deer turn, um, but they go five miles an hour. So it's a real good walking base. Uh, so they knock it out real quick. They've got a big enough engine on them where they can tackle real heavy grass. Um, so I'd suggest these, especially if you're doing like a trailer setup, I would definitely, we're gonna continue to get these for each setup that we get as like, you can see around those bushes, all that area. They could mow all of this. Uh, it just take a little bit longer than it's your turn. But we, we can run these, we'll run these normally for like three quarter properties or less, three quarter acres or less. We'll run these very often uh, just to knock out those properties because it doesn't take long with this and it saves you a lot of weed eating. So I just got on the trailer and realized that the sprayer tip for our uh, SG20 backpack sprayer from still came off. So who knows how long that's been leaking and tipped over. So that's frustrating, but at least we caught it before it leaked too bad. So we just sat down with Jay and we're gonna get a quick bite to eat uh, and then we'll head back to the house. We just finished church a little while ago, so kind of trying to just finish out the night. We didn't end up getting in that last yard, but it's all right. We took some, they're fine with us rescheduling for tomorrow. So we'll be installing that walkway as well. But kind of a slow day, but then also a good, good money making day. So went well overall. I'll see you tomorrow.